like you're busy with an experiment. Oh, Mother Duck, you're here. Yes, I was busy. I was trying to see if the paper below gets burnt when I focus sunlight on it using the magnifying glass. I've heard of that. Can we all see it? Sure, I've done this before. But I did this experiment on a warm day unlike today. Hey little ones, come closer. Take a look at what Mr. Hopster is doing. Wow, the paper got burnt when we focused the sunlight. Sun is so powerful. Yes, the sun is so powerful. The sunlight is responsible for so many things on Earth. Did you know that the Earth tilt and its revolution make up the seasons that we all experience? Really? I didn't know that. How does that happen? Let's take a look. I want you to first understand a few things. The Earth is in the shape of a sphere and rotates on its own axis, tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degrees. We know that, Mr. Hopster. Good. There's an imaginary line on the center that runs through the entire perimeter of the Earth. That's called the equator. Can you please show that to us? Sure. Here it is. That's the equator. Got it, Mr. Hopster. That's the equator. Good. The equator divides the Earth into the upper part, called the northern hemisphere, and the lower part, called the southern hemisphere. Did you say hemisphere? Yes, it is called hemisphere. Hemi means half. Hemisphere means half of the sphere. In this case, the hemispheres are northern and southern hemispheres of the Earth, as you can see. When northern hemisphere experiences winter, the southern hemisphere experiences summer. And when the northern hemisphere experiences summer, the southern hemisphere experiences winter. Huh? Really? Yes, we now have winter because it's December. We live in northern hemisphere. Many countries like America, Canada, Russia, the continent of Europe, India, China, and many more are located in the northern hemisphere. All these countries have winter now. Oh, who experiences summer now? Those countries which are in the southern hemisphere will experience summer now. Countries such as Australia, South Africa, Argentina, Chile, New Zealand, and many more experience summer in December. This is amazing! I didn't know this at all! Well, I'll show you why this happens. Okay, now we have the sun and the earth here. The orbit of the earth is the path taken by the earth around the sun, which is the revolution of the earth around the sun. As you can see, earth's orbit is elliptical. We are now experiencing winter here in the northern hemisphere. As you can see, this part receives less sunlight than the southern hemisphere. During winter, the sunlight is available for a shorter time, leading to shorter days. The sunlight is also in a shallow angle. This is because of the Earth's tilt on its own axis. This leads to colder temperatures in northern hemisphere. While this part of the Earth experiences shorter days, the southern hemisphere experiences longer days and more direct sunlight, leading to summer over there. The North Pole receives no sunlight and so the nights are the longest with no daylight and the South Pole has sunlight all day with no nights. Well, it's December 21st today. The winter solstice usually occurs on this day in the Northern Hemisphere. What is winter solstice? Winter solstice is the time when the day is the shortest and the night is the longest. This is considered as the first day in winter. Ah, that's what it is. When it's winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, it's summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. This means the southern hemisphere will have its longest day and the shortest night, also marking the beginning of summer. Let's make the Earth move around its orbit and see the different angles of sunlight on the two hemispheres. We now are seeing how the sun's light falls equally on the two halves of the Earth 
on March 21st. On this day, both hemispheres will receive equal amount of light and that's called equinox. Equinox? That's a strange word. Equinox means equal day and night. Spring starts on this day in the northern hemisphere and fall or autumn starts in the southern hemisphere. Awesome! Is there only one day when equinox happens? No, equinox happens another time in September on September 23rd. We'll see that later. From this time, sun's rays hit the northern hemisphere longer and more direct leading to warmer temperatures. By June 21st, the northern hemisphere experiences the longest time duration for sunlight and it's the start of summer. But, but we experience hot weather even before June 21st. Ha ha ha! Yes we do! However, the official start of summer is on June 21st. Summer solstice usually occurs on this day in the northern hemisphere and winter solstice occurs in the southern hemisphere. I remember solstice. So northern hemisphere has its longest day and southern hemisphere has its shortest day. Exactly! While summer starts in the northern hemisphere, winter sets in the south. You can clearly see that the sunlight is less and shallow in the southern hemisphere. You are right, Mr. Hopster. Thank you. Southern hemisphere experiences winter during this time. Now let's see the earth revolve again. We now are seeing how the sun's light falls equally on the two halves of the earth on September 23rd again. This is the second equinox of the year. We experience equal day and nights in both hemispheres. This is also the beginning of fall or autumn in the northern hemisphere while it's beginning of spring in the southern hemisphere. Wow! We are now seeing the pattern here, Mr. Hopster. Great job, duckies! Okay, now the earth continues to revolve around the sun and it becomes winter again starting December 21st for the northern hemisphere. I hope you all liked it. Of course we did! You explained it so well. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mr. Hopster. Bye. Let's recall. Hi, this is Raya. Welcome, everyone. We saw Mr. Hopster and the ducklings learn about why we have seasons on the earth. We'll see if you can recall them. Can you tell us what causes the seasons on the earth? Is it because of rotations of the earth? Or is it because of revolutions of the earth? Or is it because of revolutions and tilt of the earth? Yes, the reason why we have the seasons on earth is because of the revolutions and tilt of the earth by 23 and a half degrees. Let's take a look. Did you know that the earth tilt and its revolution make up the seasons that we all experience? Let's see another one. Can you tell what is equinox? Take a look at the three boxes below. Can you tell which one it is? Is it long days and short nights? Or is it equal days and nights? Or is it long nights and short days? Yes, equinox means equal days and equal nights. Let's take a look. We now are seeing how the sun's light falls equally on the two halves of the earth on March 21st. On this day, both hemispheres will receive equal amount of light and that's called equinox. Equinox means equal day and night. That's all folks. Have a nice day.